Hi, my name's Ivan Clark. I'm coming to you from down under at my home in beautiful Queenstown, New Zealand. It's my hope that the following clip will give greater minds inspiration and further insight into the world and story of Lonely Dog. It's here I'd like to share my vision for taking the story to the world as an outstanding animated production. I believe with the right treatment, it will have huge appeal to a family audience. Time won't allow me here to tell the story. The novel does that best. In addition to this presentation, I've prepared a separate document which outlines my ideas for adapting Lonely Dog for the big screen. The story is not really about cats and dogs. It is about race and class and us versus them and old versus new. Essentially age old conflicts that will speak to a global audience. Because I don't know of a country that doesn't have to deal with some of those things. So the basic story is, Lonely Dog was an orphan hound who was raised in a cat world and uses his music to bring the two kinds together. The story is set in Port Alvridge, a small coastal town in the imaginary land of Alvridge, populated entirely by hounds. Think old Cuba. And then, of course, there's the music that the town is famous for. The place is just alive with music. Minstrels and pilgrims would flock just to hear hound skiffle and blues and legends like Missing Tooth Memphis. Later when the cats started moving in, they'd bring their own sounds too. Their jazz clubs and downtown DJ bars set the contrast that makes the place come alive when the sun goes down. The movie will entertain with the most surprising complement of performers. Unimaginable contrasts of music fit into this world and two standout stars will be Lonely Dog and his good friend from the other side of town, the young feline Celia Krem. And then there's the voice of Lonely Dog. I found a love for me. Darling, just dive right in. Follow my lead. I found a girl. Beautiful and... And yes, there's another continent far across the sea. Felania, Inhabited entirely by cats, the felines. Historically, the two kinds never mixed. In fact, there were many past wars and bitter battles as felines sailed by tall ships trying to plunder Alvridge. But the hounds always prevailed and managed to defend their land. That was until one day the cats showed up in Port Alvridge with their checkbooks. This was a strategy new to hounds, and they fell for it. The cats started buying up the town. 
The hounds were too happy to spend their easy cash on shiny trunks as bikes and all things questionable, without them realising the cats were taking over. Their side of the river became known as Cat Side, a swanky, exclusive suburb that contrasts the rough and tumble of Hound Side. It wouldn't be long and the hounds had nothing left to sell except their labour. They'd spent their cash and soon became subservient to the scheming felines, working for minimum wage down at the docks in the giant fish cannery. Their life became hard toil. Mowing grass, clipping hedges and of course the age-old practice of harvesting cream of the sea. It was the skilled Wilkers and the whale milk staple that the cats and the whole town had become so dependent on. It's in the setting that the story of Lonely Dog begins. A shy orphan pup, bullied and misunderstood, who would one day rise to become a star, and against all odds, his music would bring the town together. Thanks for watching.